This Akron mother gets a new book bag full of school supplies for her daughter. The 11-year-old's grades aren't as good as she'd like. They started to suffer when the two became homeless. I feel she wasn't comfortable and, you know, she's listening to, you know, everybody else's rules and it's not just one-on-one -on -one with her. You've got a whole house full of people telling her what to do. More than 1,200 school-aged children in Akron are homeless. Like Beverly and her daughter, some stay with friends or relatives. Others live in shelters. And in past years, some have even lived in cars. I would say right now, the economy is a huge factor. Uh, the, a lack of good paying jobs, um, the, the foreclosure rate. Deborah Mantigi is the program manager at Project Rise, which provides support for homeless students, clothing, food. These school supplies were donated by Feed the Children. It's very important. It, it, you know, I don't know where Christmas is coming from this year. They are many more times likely to be behind than their non-homeless counterparts. Despite the obstacles, many homeless students graduate and go on to college on scholarships with the help and support of Project Rise. Deborah says you can help make a difference in their lives by volunteering at shelters or soup kitchens or donating money. Beverly's hoping her interview will encourage people to do just that. It's not the adults that suffer, it's the children.